Alright, we're gonna do this on the Sega CD today. <clears throat> this was also a Microsoft DOS game. <laughs> I just thought it was funny. Load Star. I'm gonna play Load Star. Kinda reminds you of Lone Star Spaceballs. Let's see. What do I know about this? It's a rocket science game. <laughs> Came out in 94. <laughs> Stuff that you can just see on your own. Uh, I think the devs, like, originally used to work at uh, Lucas. And they were doing some project that was like exactly to Tuesday morning, to Hollywood. Hollywood. I don't know, really know the story, but anyway, the guy left, came, did this, and what this seems to be. It reminds me a lot. Exactly, a lot of sewer shark. I haven't really played with it. So, load star. I always love it when the Sega CD tries to launch a toy bogey. When the Sega CD tries to go all in, feel like all the steam, man. Because in the early 90s, that shit blew my mind. I didn't have this one. I think Dracula was the game that I played to try to fill up the whole screen and look like utter shit. Otherwise, like, I mean, this one's it's rough. But otherwise, you normally just had a window like that. Mm -hmm. You've seen any other things. It still look totally terrible. I'm trying to stretch it. I mean, I'm keeping it in aspect ratio. Plus, this was, you know, like I said, it was done for the computer, so... All they did was take the original, you know, footage that they done there, which looked a lot better, and just kind of just compressed it to fit this. I don't know, I would have got this. Like, well, I mean, I'd love to have had it, like, just because I could sit and watch it in my room. Like, I didn't have... That's totally Bodine. I didn't have a VCR or a DVD player. At that time. Hey, it's like beers and time. Time. Oh, no. time. Right back, Baxter. What'll it be? Tully. Oh. <laughs> Nails. <laughs> Tully. William Head O'Bannon. Good to see you, Iron Dog. What brings you to the backside of Alcatraz? Big money. What else? You know any? <laughs> if I did, I wouldn't tell you, you bastard. <laughs> Well, yeah. You're buying. I, I he'll warm up to me. Hey, did you hear about Andy Opal? The fuser? Well, as far as we can tell, Andy's bus was on Karen, unloading cargo and transport. That's the same with these CD games. Just walk. But uh, back then, it was like, wow. Bodine. You gotta think, this is the same time we're playing Sonic. You know, well, Sonic yeah, 3 or something. I don't know. It was My a name is mid, I represent Carl I'm getting ready to bring Sonic out PlayStation. <laughs> Which like took the whole cutscene shit to the next level. Oh, Ned Beatty's in this shit. <laughs> All that flying violation into my jurisdiction. Well, man's got to make a living, Francis. My God, it's good to see you two. I see all that graft and corruption has gone to your gut. <laughs> Check everyone's certification. A check for forgery. Oh, I saw his net baby. I don't know. Boating, you've got exactly eight hours. I know him from two things. <laughs> Deliverance and Roseanne. <laughs> I think he's been in other stuff. <laughs> Pretty sure. Ah, now venture nozzles, Francis. All I'm looking Wow, this is long. I mean, the old me would have been like, loving it because it's comedy and all that. But it's like, I'm going to get to do something. I recognize him. I don't know his name. I was just about to give you, I mean, I was going to give all of you people some real competition. This is my nephew, Bernie. 
Those little stutters like that, that's like, that doesn't have anything to do with what I'm doing here. I really did that shit. Like, on the, on the system. There's one really famous one in Sewer Charge, which is like, My name's Falco. You'll be eating from me. It's like, damn it. <laughs> the only way you can fix that is play it on the other system. Well, I don't have that kind of time, Grandpa. That's enough, Vern. I'm about to skip this. Sorry, I'm not really in the movie mood today. <laughs> sure, if you really wanted to see that, then like, all right, here's what we're dealing with. There's that movie. There's this level, and there's two more levels, and that's it. Oh, and it's loaded with bonus features. If you're lucky, I'll do my version of Freebird. Oh, that'd be cool. Toaster, sap, scorpion. What is going on? What does all that mean? Utani SSAPL, Solar System Automated Policeman, equipped with a railgun and an anti riot vapor cannon, is universally called a sap. Saps fly about and hover utilizing three vectored hypergolic thrusters. They usually conduct surveillance and can offer advice as well as lawful commands. Well, that's kind of cool. The SA-10 Scorpion is an automated, highly armored military spacecraft deployed by the System Guard. It is powered by six... They're just throwing in these bonus things because the gameplay is, like, minuscule, I'm sure. I'm sure. I don't know much about it. We're just going to... We're going to fire it up. We're going to go down a couple paths. I just love showing off what six CD was about. Hell, what is the toaster? The Utani 505L Tactical Police Cruiser, or toaster, is a manned and armed spacecraft. T-cruisers require onboard piloting and weapons management by a crew of two. They maneuver utilizing a single Denudin IC-27 fusion rocket engine. I mean, it's impressive. You know, for hover early and 90s, what they flight. could do. And imagine how better it looks on Windows. Might as well. Right, next time, we're playing. We're playing. This is whole game is FMV. A stereo pair of Goyal 88 caliber rail guns. The Axe is a very impressive civilian and military enforcer. An onboard miniaturized Shiba 7000 optical processor gives the Axe complete autonomy to act on its own. Sometimes faulty judgment. <laughs> Sure, y'all don't want to watch the previews. Sounds like a DVD. Ah! It's kind of like the dinosaurs. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Let's go. Let's play the game. Not that there's gonna be much to see. Although I thought if if memory serves me correctly, that the okay. Oh, a fire. Things that would be nice to know. Hold on. We got a lock? Ow, that hurt. Okay, hold on. Should have learned some controls. In order to get to the cargo bay, you have to head towards the observatory. Use your heading indicator if you can't see the observatory. What did that mean? What did that say? Your vehicle, I shall use a stern warning. You are exceeding speed. You're exceeding speed. Okay, I'm very confused. Nothing's working. You are exceeding speed. Oh, I need to slow down. Supposed to avoid stuff. Turn with your cursor. Slow down. Sir. I'm not sure how I'm turning. 
<laughs> and so this is not like Super Shark. It has a different kind of control. I mean, it isn't that it's first person. Uh, or first. This is pre-printed backgrounds, but. I'm not constantly firing, obviously, I just got to lock on to something. But you have to remember this jump data. Am I making these turns? I have no clue, man! Smelled it off. Yeah, it's not. I mean, the presentation is like super sharp. Like microcosm is more like super sharp. Oh. Am I? Am I participating? I feel like I kind of am. Over here. Over here. <laughs> okay, so I can turn off the green light. You just have to slow down. Now I keep turning the green stuff on. I bet you once I get the hang of it. Once I figure it out, because I even tried to learn some controls and like. No, I, try, I looked up the manual, and it wasn't helpful at all. button was turning the infrared on. Very confused. Going in circles. Yeah, I really wish I knew what I was doing. <laughs> Alright, that's where I'm gonna leave it because I don't know what the I'm doing. <laughs>